Hello, I am Sergeant First Class Kenneth Rose. Welcome to Shooter's Corner. Today I'd like to introduce you to the two main firing tasks. You've probably heard a lot about fundamentals. Breathe, relax, aim, squeeze. Well, that gives a shooter a lot to think about. Here we teach two main firing tasks. Those are align the sights and squeeze the trigger without moving the rifle. This allows the shooter a much more simplified format in order to engage the target. First, let's talk about sight alignment. Sight alignment is the process of putting the tip of the front sight post, the rear aperture, and the shooter's eyeball on the same plane. Once we've achieved this, we're gonna place the tip of the front sight post on the desired target. It's very important to maintain the tip of the front sight post centered in the rear aperture. As much as two thousandths of an inch of deviation can cause a miss at 300 meters. Allow your eye to do its job. Your eye can detect two thousandths of an inch of deviation. While firing, the focus will remain on the tip of the front sight post. It seems counterintuitive, but looking at the target is gonna to lead to some hairy problems when you start shooting. Let's talk about sight picture. Sight picture is keeping the tip of the front sight post centered over the most visible mass of the target. It's important to remain consistent in this. Wherever you place the tip of the front sight post, do it over and over again so you don't get wandering groups. This wraps up our first firing task. Your second firing task is going to be fire the rifle without moving it. This is done through proper trigger control. You've probably heard a lot of words about trigger control. Surprise break, snatch, pull, squeeze. Well, we teach one thing here, smooth. No matter the speed at which I engage a trigger, it's always going to be smooth. Imagine trying to pull the trigger straight through the rear of the buttstock, holding it to the rear while the gun recoils. It's important to constantly engage the trigger, never letting your trigger finger disengage from the trigger while firing. This is achieved through natural trigger finger placement. You've probably also been taught to engage a trigger with the tip of your first digit. Well, everyone has different size hands. So what we teach is natural trigger finger placement. To achieve this, you're gonna get a high firm handshake grip on the pistol grip, allowing your trigger finger to rest naturally on the trigger. Disregard where it naturally lays, so long as you're able to pull it straight back through. Realize that the M4 only weighs about six pounds and the trigger squeeze on a rack grade gun is somewhere in the realm of nine to 10 pounds. It takes more force to squeeze the trigger than it does to pick up the weapon. It's very important that you constantly keep your finger on the trigger, holding it to the rear as the gun recoils. When coaching this position, I like to get on the shooter's right side to make sure his trigger finger constantly stays on there. Some shooters have a tendency to slap the trigger or disengage from the gun when recoil happens. It's an unnatural function to have an explosion going off six inches in front of your face. The best way to train out this flinch reaction is through consistent dry fires. As you can see, that time the shooter disengaged the trigger. Let's try that again. This time, I want you to hold the trigger straight back to the rear until that recoil pulse has exited the rifle. Good, much better. But combining these two main firing tasks, aligning the sight and trigger control, we're gonna have a lot better desired effects downrange. Once again, all the other fundamentals you've heard about are nothing more than supporting tasks of these two main functions. This was Shooter's Corner. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.